making his way out of Seattle right now. Kind enough to call in Kurt Warner. How are you, Kurt? I am doing extremely well. Another good game last night, and uh, man, it's just a fun time of year. I love that uh, all these games have such big implications, and we're going to be talking about every single game and all these teams moving forward. It's just fun time of year. I mean, last night had everything from uh, like a Plinko chip um, uh, interception return for six against um, – Seattle and then Seattle going on a, a huge momentum swing to take a lead and then realizing that perhaps punting the ball might stunt the momentum and fake punting. I mean, that had everything last night, Kurt. It, it, it did. You know, I mean, you know, we talk about it and, you know, sometimes we look from the outside, but when you've actually played the game, that whole thing that we call big momentum is a real thing. And, you know, it, it's tough to stop when the other team has it. Uh, but once you gain it back, um, you know, it, it's difficult to, to overcome. And so when you have teams that are able to do that, kind of weather the storms and, and overcome it and make big plays, and Seattle just seems to be one of the best teams in the league at doing that. Like, there's never any panic. And, you know, so often they find themselves down or behind early in games. And they just they don't panic. They just weather the storm. They know they're going to get an opportunity, and then when they do, they take advantage of it. And I think that's you know it's all about leadership. Guys like Russell Wilson and and Pete Carroll are so good at, at staying upbeat and positive in those situations. And we saw that last night. And you know, and I thought, oh gosh, no way Minnesota's going to come back. And then they make a couple great drives and make the thing interesting uh, down the stretch. So you're right. It was it was a fun game knowing that both teams needed it really badly. Um, it was a fun game to call and watch because there was a lot of big game-changing type plays within the game. And, uh, you know, it's also that building too, Kurt, and it's also the time of night, <laughs> a primetime game in that building with the 12s. It really is something to see momentum going and then when they, when they, when they come up with a big play, it just charges the whole building and now... They're in a bye week position to to self control it the rest of the way. How viable are the Seahawks to you to win it all this year, Kurt? You know, it's interesting because you know I was kind of looking at that with the NFC, and I still you know every week. I mean, I you know I, I lone wolf Minnesota this week because yes. I, I watch Seattle, and I don't think they're a great team top to bottom. I don't think they have a bunch of of great players. And so I kind of always wait for things to catch up with them. Their defense isn't quite as good. And, you know, they've got some issues and they give up some plays. And offensively, they're not great at passing the football, even though they're really good at running it. And I just think, okay, it's going to catch up to them. We get playing another good team. Yet they continue to find ways to win. And so I look around the NFC and, and I still think the same thing about Seattle. I think, man, teams like San Francisco are more balanced. Teams like New Orleans are more balanced. But I think those are the only two teams I look at and say Seattle, and again, I don't even want to say Seattle can't beat them. They've already you know, beaten San Francisco at San Francisco, so we know they can. But I look at those two teams and say I think they're more complete teams than Seattle is. And so I put Seattle probably at the number three position in terms of going to the Super Bowl. But you have Russell Wilson, and as you said, if you're playing in that building, I mean, if you end up getting the number one seed and play in that building with those fans, they are going to keep it close, and Russell is going to have a chance to win those games late. And I think they are a viable option, even though I don't put them at the number one spot, um, you know, because of, of how I look at their entire team. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.